What's up guys, Syntac here. This is gonna be the first video in the free to play, uh, you know, try and clear TOA normal series. Um, and today we are gonna talk about uh, kind of the before what you wanna get ready to do this. Um, so I'm gonna start going over some units, what we're gonna kind of be, what I'm gonna be working on. I'm still actually, you know, a little bit out from, from just diving right in, um, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about you know what my plans are and, and kind of what I remember too from from when I did this way back in the day um, on my original account. Cool. All right. So real quick, um, I'm, what I'm gonna talk about is uh, the units first off that I'm working on um, and and what I'm planning on doing with them. So right out of the gate, you guys can see I got a, a rock, um, which to me is in one of the best beginner units that you guys can get, um, and you guys can farm these things. Uh, you can farm them over here in Feynman. Um, you know, running that, and it's a great way to level up too. That's one. That's that's going to be one of my main DPS starting off. Um, and I might use an Inugami. I, I've also got a Tark. So when I start a free to play account, the first thought that's occurred to me is basically, what units do I want to, you know, possibly at some point six star right that are that are good right away okay and a couple units come to mind colleen right the fire harpu um i actually just got one today which is why she's not leveled up as much um but that's a great one right right out of the gate that's one that you would you know even as a free to play you would probably six that at some point so you can continue to level that up one you don't want to mess with that you get right out of the gates the fairy i will probably end up making this a four star but i will end up foddering the fairy um tark's another one that you know, on my other account, I use Tark, Tark really extensively. So this is a, a unit that I would be more than happy to six star. Now, one that people don't give a lot of credit anymore um, is Shannon. But way back in the day, Shannon, I actually remember, I did use Shannon to clear TOA by, you know, on my original account all the way to 100. So Shannon's going to be one that at the very least I'm going to five star, but I probably will six star Shannon. Um, and Shannon is one of the most underrated units, I think, in terms of two-star free-to-play units. Um, because she has a three-turn defense buff, and that's really, really huge. She also has an AoE attack. So I spent a day just farming, you know, Giants B3, B2, and getting a Despair set on her. Um, because she can stun them. This is why she's such an amazing unit for free-to-play or, or beginners for TOA. Because she can AoE stun, she's got this defense buff, which vastly reduces the amount of damage you're going to be taking. And she also applies glancing, um, which is awesome. She's an awesome unit. Now, I know later on as I'm going through, through TOA that I'm going to need a cleanse and I don't have a Veramos. When Veramos was introduced in the game, if I remember correctly, it really made TP. A lot of people were having issues clearing the, the TOA by themselves, and Veramos kind of solved a lot of issues. So you're going to need a cleanse, and since I'm not definitely not going to have a Veramos in the next five weeks or so, um, we're going to use Kona. And the other nice thing about Kona is Kona can be used for raids later on, too. So we can six Kona. Um, and, and to me, this is a big deal because when I was first starting out, and I know a lot of you are, and you, you don't have the experience of what units to use or kind of what you're doing with these units, um, you really want, like, I was I would summon all these units, and I'd be like, what, do, what, what should I really focus on leveling all the way to six, you know? And you have no clue because you just don't know what's good. And you really, because you're free to play, resources are limited. You do not want to waste them. So I'm going to talk about the units to me that are okay to six star you know kona's one of them colleen's one of them i love shannon some people might argue with me on shannon you know but she has uses in toa and if you're free to play and, and you know you need that defense buff in my opinion um in order to to, to really clear that that uh thing now obviously if you've got a basalt or if you've got something else that has that then don't worry about shannon but um, if you don't, Shannon's really for bang for her buck, man. She is awesome. Um, um, and then I'm also bringing Kona, who also has a heal plus cleanse. Uh, Kona's a great unit too because you can you can boost up your other healer, right? You can stun. And, and the big thing about clearing TOA as a free to play or whatever is going to be stuns and, and and constantly keeping the units tied up. So the other unit that I would really really want to get for this, um, and, and I it's a fusion unit right it's something that we can fuse and i'm sure everybody knows where i'm going with this it, that's uh it's going to be beretta and i don't actually don't think i even have the uh fusion tower unlocked yet but eventually i'm going to try and fuse a beretta right 
that's that's the goal with uh, we can actually see though if we go to here right which one what do we need to make Beretta okay so we need I did and this is the other thing okay so we're gonna talk about some strategy now we've talked about a few of the units now prior to me jumping in to TOA because right now I have just two and three stars with very limited stuff kind of leveled up so what my focus is gonna be over the next few weeks is one getting runes and two leveling these things to four and five stars the ones that I'm gonna focus on uh, I'm also saving units, and this is kind of the you know the hallmark of free to play is don't be wasteful with resources and units. And we're going to talk about today what to kind of focus on. So Beretta is one you want to try and fuse. It's probably one of the first ones you want to try and fuse, um, and it's going to take time. You know, if you can farm these, I'm, I'm sh I think you got to get the May from a drop, right? But I think I've gotten I actually got lucky because I've gotten about nine mystical scroll drops from doing giants or whatever and i think you know the event going on i've gotten one i actually pulled a magical archer so that's you know that's a recipe um this is part of the recipe for beretta but beretta is one you want to fuse for for toa and we're probably going to need beretta um if we want to complete toa all the way the other thing you want to do is arena even if you suck at it because the glory points you're going to need uh and you really want to be working on maxing out your energy um if you're a free to play so what you want, the very first ones you want to be maxing out are your energy, adding additional energy, and your energy regen, right? And those two you want to work on, on pumping points into so you can get, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not even in the right unit here. Mysterious Plant and Sanctum of Energy. These are what you want to be pumping your, your glory points into. So what I would recommend if you really want to be able to farm your glory every time that it's up, which I'm obviously not doing because I have 10 out of 10 right now, um, what you should be doing, what I would recommend is setting an easy defense. Um, this, because you're, everybody at this point who's not free to play has insane, you know, six star or whatever, 40. So you just want to get knocked down, right? You want to get knocked down and then you want to be able to, hopefully you, there's some of these people you can beat, but even if you can't beat them in, in terms of using your energy, um, or using your wings or whatever and so you can continually get those glory points because they do add up you know even if you just get one per as long as you're using them every time they come so so really focus on making sure you know maximizing your wing usage and energy usage all right so that's the first thing and then there's a you know a good question a lot of people are going to ask is what should i be focusing on when i'm getting these teams ready well you want to focus on runes right and i kind of have a set strategy that i do every time i i started an account or whatever and i focus on getting blade runes first so when i first start out i like to get everything on blade i like to kind of farm in, 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 in inugami if not two which i've got both right here right rock's just such an awesome unit he's got a built-in violent um He's got a group attack, and then he's got, you know, it's just an amazing unit. He's got two tutorials. So as you can see, I've also got insane amounts of blade runes. Um, now until I, one, you know, once I start powering this crit right up, I'll probably start swapping in some more tank type stuff. Um, so for, for your rock, I would highly recommend farming blade runes. If you guys want to use the magic knight, I would never level this thing past uh, five star, to be honest. I would, you know, and I would probably use this as fodder later on. Um, but, but because it's got this could also be a really good TOA unit so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna six this thing but I probably will keep it at five star because it's free right and it's got three AOE attacks right so this is awesome for a couple of reasons one if I use it with these things that have group attacks right every time that these things group up and bring this with it it's got a chance to apply a stun to every single unit right so let's let's see this in action just so you guys can kind of see what we're dealing with here um, we'll do we'll do a floor or two because we're out 11 right now and you know it'll probably get pretty difficult here right out of the gate um, so the nice thing about Tark right and these two Inagamis is they all three have a groove attack meaning that when they attack they take somebody with them and if that somebody that they take with them is an AoE that has a despair they'll stun him so so right there you know they took okay yeah I just got this thing on auto right now but you can see stuns there and this is kind of how when you're starting out you want to be able to just sit there and stun up these units and stuff because if you can control even if they're higher level and they, they're stronger than you if they're constantly stunned you can still kill them I 
And Tark's really awesome because Tark takes two units. Look at that. We got a couple there. This thing. Okay. Whoops. I meant to hit the middle skill there. So Shannon's also got a stun. So this is a good setup to me, I think. I don't I don't know if I'll probably bring one more. I'll probably bring a heal or two then, uh, like Cone or whatever. But we'll kind of deal with that as we go. Because obviously this is really easy right now. But I'm just giving you guys some ideas, you know, starting out, how you're going to want to approach this. Um, so kind of build, build wise is what you want to do. Um, for Shannon, definitely go for the Despair Energy uh, if you can. Or Despair Guard. Obviously, I think Energy is easier. Or even you know shield or whatever once I get probably over the next week I'll have everything kind of leveled up to where I want it to be um, we've got this event going on too right now where it's like 200 crystals are coming out so I'm gonna get you know that's like six refills right and I've got a uh, you know save your if you get these like uh, the double experience save them till you get enough crystals I think I've got four days till mine expire right I've got four days till that expires. So as soon as I get these 200 crystals, that's six or seven refill. I should be able to level up quite a bit of stuff. Now, the technique that I used for leveling is obviously it's very difficult to clear everything on normal, right? Well, it's not difficult to clear Garen Forest on normal. In fact, it's not even difficult to clear Garen Forest on hard. So what I would do is run it up to hell, and then I would do the very first thing, and this is how I level now. Um, and if you've got a rock, it's, it's pretty friggin' easy. Um, and then I'll bring like Sam I am leveling these two wins right now, right? And you get a lot of I mean, it's like 1200 experience if I had double experience It's like 2400 experience per run um, and, and rock can pretty much handle everything You know you can bring especially if you're like leveling healers or shield deep debuffs or, or whatever in terms of farming for runes then farm giants as soon as you can for some despair I, I've got my despair sets I got out of b3 so um, they drop quickly, you know, get, I, I have farmed dragons a little bit, but I haven't gotten a single violent yet. So, um, and uh, ideally for Kona and for Rakaja, I would want a violent set on it. If I can't get one though, I will put a swift set on them just because the healers you want to proc. So that heals almost always up, right? That's kind of the mindset behind that. Yeah. So this is kind of where we're starting from here. Now I'm sure we will run into issues once we get up around 30, 40, 50, um, and then we'll address them as we go because I'm, there's going to be some sticking points. There's going to be some stuff we're going to have to retool, and there'll be some new units we'll have to level. Uh, but ideally, this is kind of my base team starting out. What I'm going to be using, and it's not you know it's super simplistic. It's stuff you can farm. Um, even if I were to pull something crazy like a Nat Five, I probably wouldn't sit there and use it for this, just because. It doesn't really help anybody <laughs> you know what i mean like we're, we're doing this to kind of help out some of the newer guys the beginner people you know we're giving a little bit of tips on runes leveling that kind of stuff so look we got 1200 xp and this is the technique i would use as soon as you can i'm level 20 i've been playing this account literally about a week okay i've been playing this account about a week um and uh yeah cool so I'm adding some of you guys. I'm getting some community. You know, I've got tons of friend spots. If you guys are under level 50, I will try and add anyone who's under level 50 first, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, try and, and and fill up the rest of these friend spots and stuff. Sound good, guys? Cool. If you got questions, um, I will address them in the next free to play video. All of the free to play videos will be in this playlist series. So just put them in the comments. Um, you know, if you've got questions on this. Uh, on how we're going to approach stuff and I will be sure to flesh them out in the next video in the series sound good cool awesome thanks guys I think we got a good start today I'm really excited to kind of get this I'm actually having the most fun I've had in this game in a long time 99% <laughs> of the time on my other account I am just rune farming all day and in this one I'm actually like getting excited to summon unknown scrolls right and this is another thing you know doing giants and stuff farming those initial despair sets you are going to get a lot of unknown scrolls and summon them and save you know power up the nice thing about having two stars is that we can we can power up a lot of our, our units you know if we if we get something like our yeti another yeti or another harpu or another kona or whatever i can use this to max skill these units too which you're gonna want we're gonna need everything max skill too if we're gonna attempt 100 later on um you know, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Ideally, I'm looking at to do this. What, what I would like to do is hopefully have this. We'll be able to complete TOA in a month or two, um, and then from there, I'll just put out a walkthrough every month. 
you know, I think a lot of people that would be helpful. I've gotten a lot, I've seen, you know, been reading a lot of comments. I think a lot of people that would help out a lot. And then eventually we'll attempt to eight hard. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I think we got a good base start. You guys are starting out. You kind of got something to know where to work with. And I'll, sh you know, I'll give you an update guys in a week or so and we'll go from there. All right. Now, before we get everything leveled up to, we're going to run through as far as we can go right now in TOA. So what we're going to do as many floors in a row as we can do until we either die or run out of energy because we need to get kind of a baseline and see where we're at. See what, what's going to see what the first challenge ideally is going to be. Um, you know, it's probably going to be a stat issue. We're probably going to get high enough where, where you know, we're going to be affected by stats. Um, you know, if we can get over 20 already, I would say that's a really good start to be completely honest. So yeah, what I'll do then is I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and do these without any commentary. I'm going to fast forward. And when we get to that sticking point, we will, uh, we'll go from there. Sound good. Cool. Okay guys, it looks like 20 is our sticking point. Um, and to me, we don't have enough DPS. Uh, we don't have enough for everything. <laughs> so we're gonna level up, we're gonna skill up, and we're gonna rune up, and we're gonna come back here, uh, hopefully in a few days, and see how much farther we can go. Cool, all right, let's get to it. 